Yeah, at least the birds are singing. Sounds like a cardinal. Let's get a mate like answering to it if you're here. <laughs> That's an indicator that it's going to be a good day. I know I had a commenter say that get your own statement I do have my own statement I have my own saying it's on to the next whoever that might be man I look like shit <sighs> fell asleep in the car God I've been up scrapping all night, man. I'm claiming I'm gonna need some new shoes. <laughs> I know. Look at the McDonald's wrapper. I have some commenter called Slow Bill who calls it McCraps. I got in a, a long thread with that guy about. <clears throat> he's, he's saying that McDonald's people. Ten states people have gotten sick off of eating McDonald's. You know, you're thinking the hamburger, but it's the salad. This is the wrong thing to do. Fall asleep like a bum in the fucking car. <laughs> in front of your own house in the driveway. That's insane. Oh, rise but don't shine. It's about... Yeah, about 5.48. Had to look at the clock. <clears throat> well, I, I was so tired that <laughs> I was sleep driving last night. Look at that. trucks on an angle. I actually crashed into my other truck. <laughs> when, I, when I heard the kathunk, <clears throat> I knocked a little piece of rubber off the bump around this truck here. When I heard the kathunk, <laughs> it woke me up. I'm like, oh. Yeah. All right, let's get the day started. So I'm gonna be taking, or me and my wife are gonna be taking this car to a professional auto repair shop for an estimate on um, the brake master cylinder. It's losing vacuum. I guess a lot of Ford Edge cars have that problem. It's not my car. As long as my in-laws. Anyway, when you push down on the brake pedal, it's like um, stepping on the brake pedal of a car that had the engine shut off. It's like you have complete manual brakes. There's no, there's no power assist, no vacuum assist. You can hear it losing vacuum when you push down on the brake pedal. You can hear a shh sound. And if you hold it there long enough, the engine starts to... Uh, sputter and shake and then after a couple of minutes like maybe two minutes it dies out so it's losing vacuum pressure for sure and my claim is after watching a couple of videos on replacing it it's probably about a thousand dollar job because this even this panel right here has got to come off so all kinds of pieces have to come off to get proper access to that and this has got ABS, so that means after replacing the master cylinder, you still have to reprogram the ABS brakes so they function like ABS instead of regular brakes. So I'm claiming that's a thousand bucks, but we're gonna get an estimate. <coughs> nope, not my car. It's got firefighter plates. I'm not a firefighter, so. All the screwballs that go, oh, you got, you know, they claim that I got stuff more than I got. It's wrong. 
<laughs> my in-laws are letting my wife drive those. Because this turd doesn't run right now. And uh, for a Volvo, this model right here, this is a... Uh, well, the back tire is losing air. I inflate that. For this type of Volvo, it's a... <clears throat> It's a 960. It's 600 and something dollars for a, for a fuel pump. <clears throat> hey, look at this! How the plastic um the plastic lenses they get cataracts. <laughs> Over time, that's why I call them, they haze up and the light isn't as bright, <clears throat> you know, like with the, you know, cars in the last maybe, oh, 20 years or more have had plastic lenses. <clears throat> These Volvos were some of the last cars to use the, the glass, but even that's not like a regular standard, like replaceable headlight. So if that thing gets broken, see the thing is these don't haze up, but if they get broken, they're broke. There's no, there's no fix for that. They sell that stuff that makes the lens uh, clear again. Well, this kind of looks like an advanced case. I don't know how well it would work. It's about as bad as this Monte Carlo. I don't know. Whatever. I'm getting off track. I'm going to be taking this in here. See, it's stuff that didn't happen uh, back in the day, you know. Back in the day, you had a problem with the headlight. It's just glass. You go and replace it for 7 or $8. <laughs> but, you know, 7 or $8 car company ain't making money off of that <laughs> right and <clears throat> over time right you can't just replace that for seven or eight dollars if you wanted to replace this the sucker's 150 bucks right <clears throat> 